Gentlemen, and welcome to WCHS Today with Mike Hatfield. I'm your announcer, Jim Tallman, and Mike's guest tonight will be two people from Channel 5 with a new show, The Pantherettes, and a new band director, that's right, Stromberger took over. So stick around and find about that. And now, and now, am I on? And now, the man of this great show with the great new band, Mike Caffield. All right, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Enough, enough, enough. I see we got the great camera tonight. If you're wondering why we leave a trail behind us when we walk, it's, uh, it's because of the, look at this. Great camera, wow. We got a great band tonight, too. Uh, oh, and we got a new band director. Come on up, new band director. Yeah. All right. yeah. All right. Shouldn't have wore a white shirt tonight. It's going to burn in on the camera. Anyhow, right. why don't you go ahead and take it. This is John Stromberger, the yeah. Uh, yeah. drummer. Temporary the band. band. Temporary band director for this week. Kevin Dillinger, trumpet, trombone. What's his name? Kevin Dillinger. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? What is, what is, what is he playing? What is he playing? Scott Rathbun, trumpet. Right. You got anything to say? No, I don't. John Norlin, sax. Guy in Uh Yeah, we want a new band director again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. Rob Wayner on drums. Right. What do you got to say? I agree with John, I think. <laughs> Thanks. Great band director, huh? And then how, ex how exciting having, having a new band director every week. A new band every week. Not to mention they get worse each each week. So Jim, how's your eye? I suggest Comtrex, that's all, nothing else. Just Comtrex. Yeah, great. Uh, Jim, why don't you tell us about why don't you tell us about your idea for uh, your music? You're you're thinking about uh, what now, doing the music on a uh, cassette and bringing it in here so we'd have a good theme song each week? What's this? The, the, the music you created for the show. Yeah. That was back, uh, when was that? That was back this summer sometime. Let's stick to the things on the list, Mike. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Stump Jim. I see you, uh, you wrote something on the back here, Jim. That's, huh? uh, just keeping track of the mistakes John makes. <laughs> keeping track of the mistakes. Okie doke. Well, uh, what New Year's resolution did the band have? Uh, Get worse. Oh, you're a real comedian. Let's come on. How about I give my hand, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you something, John. It worked, okay? It worked. All right. So, what, what's your position now on the show, Jim? I guess I'm an announcer. Just an announcer? Just an announcer. Something else. Yeah. Pretty boring job. That's too bad. We'll have to get a new announcer. What do you think, John? You want? Yeah, but it was more prestigious when I had a last year. It's much more. Band wants a new announcer too. I think what they're trying to do is get rid of the show. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, we'd like to welcome everybody back. It's been a long vacation, thank goodness, because we did need it. And uh, I'm sure everybody got just what they wanted for Christmas. And, uh, How'd you do on your files, Mike? And uh, it's been uh, incredible. Great week ahead of us. Great week. Thanks, Jim. We'll get you back for that. Don't worry about it. But uh, anyhow, we're going to have the uh, the tote board, that popular item that was back last year. All right. The, uh, yeah. Where you guys can, of course, pledge your tax-free donation, tax-deductible, that is. And uh, that will be put up on the tote board and uh, saved for years and years, of course. And uh, we will distribute the money, food, et cetera, to all the TV club members and uh, have fun. we got a great audience tonight, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looking out there, I see maybe ten people out there. We're very pleased to announce that we have Mike Burnham back. From, uh, Mike was going over to, uh, where are you going now, Bergen? You left for a while to go to Bergen? I remember your last day here, you skipped all your classes. That was, uh, that was the high point of the day, of course, when you took exact lunch. And uh, But now that he's gone, he probably can get in trouble for that, right? 
<laughs> That's what you think. They know where you live, Mike, so be careful, okay? <laughs> Got a great show for you tonight. We have uh, Mark Laswell and Mary Brennan from uh, Channel 5, the new uh, uh, news show down there called Just For You. It's going to be uh, a news-type show with all the uh, interesting funs and facts fun and facts from the exciting town of East Peoria and other miscellaneous outlying areas. Uh, anyhow, we also have the Pantherettes on tonight, an exciting group of uh, cheerleading type individuals. All right. Uh, yes. so it, it, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sean. So uh, what we're looking at here, folks, is a great show. Don't change the channel. So, uh, Jim, let's, let's talk with you for just a couple minutes here before we get on with the show. Okay. Uh, I understand you guys went on a band trip. Is that correct? That's correct. Mike. You want to tell me about this a little bit or not? Maybe I don't know. Sure. I oh, okay. Went to Florida in a nice, comfortable bus for 25 hours. We uh, 25 hours. 25 hours. Nonstop. Nonstop. Well, we stopped for obvious things. <laughs> no, I, I, I. Can you explain on that? Um, food. Oh, food. Okay. Uh, other things. And uh, we got down there. We were lot on the town for two and a half hours. To cruise in a bus? Uh, or no. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing like getting down cruising on a bus, huh? No, this yeah, is they downtown do. Orlando, and uh, Saturday we, we played in the Walt, in the Mickey Mouse Parade. That was the highlight of the trip today. Yeah. Uh, um, we went to uh, the great the great travel agency, uh, Destinations Unlimited, which happens to be sp <laughs> uh, so sponsored by our band director, <laughs> Mr. Hess. How clever. But you got, guys got a pretty good yeah. deal then. Oh, huh? yeah, we got a, have a hay rack ride and a good old barbecue chicken Saturday night. Yeah. And, in uh, Florida, huh? Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Sunday we went to Epcot, and that was, oh, boy. It was, it was pretty good. And then, but the main thing was Monday. We took a cruise out to nowhere. <laughs> and that was... Where's nowhere? <laughs> that's right. No, yeah, that's it. South Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, located right next to Gilligan's Island. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> and that was pretty much the, that was pretty much the highlight, wasn't it? Highlight of the trip because of people on board and other you know, reasons. So was you, this was just the uh, band then. This was yes, you know, and about half the band went. About half. Yeah. Cause Does this cost band members money? This cost their money. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? How much is that? Well, clean, see, they get money from their band accounts to use, but it overall cost three. Per person. Per person. As in, yeah. In American currency. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Florida Great. hasn't changed the union yet, has it? Changed the union? Whatever the word is. Oh, yeah. I, I blew the joke. So. Succeeded. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah. Succeeded from the union. Well, anyhow, that's not an indication of how the show is going to be tonight. It's going to be great. So let's bring on, ladies and gentlemen, a big warm welcome. Everybody get ready now. Drum roll, please, for the Parent Threats! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim, you're going to take off for us, huh? Uh, come back out later, please. So we have sitting here, you guys didn't uh, get mixed up now, did you, so I can read your names off right? Lisa Mills, Jill Tunnel, and Paula Urban. Isn't that great? You got them right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very talkative bunch, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Pantherettes. What are the Pantherettes? Now, this is kind of like a toss-up question again, so anybody can answer this one. Well, but but please, um, speak English. They're sort of like cheerleaders, but we make up dance routines. Sometimes we use palms, but like, we don't cheer. <laughs> we don't yell. So. You just dance? You just yeah. sort of dance, yeah. Okay, and when do you uh, dance and perform? At the home basketball games. Where? Here. Here. Good. Okay, that's great. Uh, do you guys plan on, like, maybe uh, later on in life, you know, uh, cheering, dancing on the pom-pom squad, as you uh, called it earlier today? Maybe. Uh, you guys just go right down the line there. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not? No. No? Uh, who's your sponsor? Miss Sparks and Miss Hickman. And have they been doing this for a long time? This is uh, Miss Hickman's first year, Miss Sparks' second year. Have you guys been in this before? Paula and I have, but Jill hasn't. First year, huh? It's my first year. You guys, are you guys are all seniors now? No. So you're not? You're no. juniors? 
Probably I'm a senior. seniors and she's a sophomore. I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore? <laughs> oh, jeez. You're going to probably do this for two more years, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good thing. You guys, in, are you guys, you can't be on cheerleading and the dancing at the same time. So, have you guys have been on cheerleading before? Been in cheerleading, excuse me? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> or are you guys in, in any of their uh, activities? <laughs> You guys in any other activities besides uh, uh, pom pom? Um, Jill and I are in the company. I'm in Key Club. Now there's the girl right there. Key Club. Now I don't mean to get off the subject here for a second, but uh, you're not planning on going to the Key Club trip this year, are you? No. No? <laughs> the highlight of the Key Club year. Well, I, I always thought I was the highlight. I'm sorry. I seem to have some people that uh, disagree with me out there. Back to the subject here. Sorry about that. Uh, what do the routines consist of that you guys normally do? The the dance routines, you know. So what do you mean? Well, I mean, what do you guys do? Just you just dance? Just yeah. dance? Nothing. Uh, well, nothing two fancy? people are assigned to every routine, and you take turns, and you just make up different moves. Just make them up? Do you guys create your own material? Or yeah. does somebody else do it? You do it yourself? Uh -huh. Jeez. Sounds pretty bad. Who usually does that? Is there like one captain on the team or something? Or? No. Not team, excuse Just me. Just whoever wants to make up a dance that week. Make Let them do it, huh? <laughs> yeah, and uh, how long do you guys usually practice? About an hour and a half every night, except for Fridays. And do you guys every night then? Right after school till 4.30. When do you guys usually start practicing then? How long do you have to prepare, you know, for a, for a game? Uh -oh. At least a week of practice. Yeah. At least a week. You guys have a different routine than every game? Mm -hmm. Jeez. This be pretty exciting, I can tell. <laughs> I haven't been to any of the home games yet this year. How many you guys have done so far? Eight or nine, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many uh, people do you have in your uh, Path Ruts squad? Sixteen. Sixteen? All of them are... Uh, well, obviously, all, no. all of them are seniors. <laughs> no. Talking to pretty, pretty ten. good assortment, or most of them. There's ten seniors, four juniors, and two sophomores. And you're one of the sophomores, how is that? Yeah. You must be pretty privileged, then. I mean, how do they select uh, who's going to be on the team? Is it just anybody that really tries out, or do you have to be a junior, sophomore? You so. can't. You have to be at least a sophomore. But then anybody can try out after that. <laughs> Yeah. I think I'll try out for that sometime. I don't know, but uh, well, I tell you what, do you guys do you guys go to any kind of camp or anything before you you do this? Like they got a camp for cheerleading and stuff like they that. They have camps, but but nobody nobody, nobody's ever attended them. We did two years ago. I mean, does that do? You, does the home team have to go to these or no? Or just uh, it's whoever wants to. Whoever wants to. Go to. And they have well, those clinics. Clinics, my yes. gosh, we can't forget the clinics. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And, well, why don't you tell me a little bit about the clinics? Oh, no, we didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go, they huh? have them. But you know they have them. Yeah. yeah we went to one one time. Just, you went to a clinic yourself, huh? The whole squad did. I thought you said the whole she squad did went it. to we're a... With it. So you guys went to a camp and a clinic? Yeah. Or do you call them clinic camps? Just no. a clinic, one day. Okay. And, and what do you do at a clinic? Um, Get a physical? All the... No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, somebody's awake over there. <laughs> the, um, every, each squad from the different schools makes up a routine, and we go and perform it for each other, and then teach it. And do you get squads. judged or anything? Or yeah. It's just, and what's the camp like then? Just dance all day. <laughs> dance all day, sleep all night. Pretty routine then. Well, I mean, you guys, you guys don't get any awards or anything? You never go to any contest or anything? Uh-uh. <laughs> Jeez, we guys are have to change that. There are contests, aren't there? for this type of... Um, there's one national, but you have to go to camp to go to that. Why don't you guys go to camp? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It sounds, uh, you guys should um, consider something like that. I mean, it seems like, but thanks for that. <laughs> we there, uh, yeah, you should consider something like that because wouldn't it be much more exciting for you guys? Do you guys like this? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it seems like putting in an hour and a half each night except Sundays. No, not Saturdays. Saturdays. Saturdays, Sundays. It's a weekend, right? <laughs> Same principle. Well, hey, it's been real. It's been fun.
Of course, it's been real fun. Thanks a lot for being on the show. And uh, when's the next time you guys perform? This Friday. This Friday. And that's at Washington High School. So let's see everybody there for the basketball game so you can see these girls perform. See those Panthers win. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Great drummer, great drummer. <laughs> what was that doing here? Four. <laughs> yeah, great band. <laughs> Love that music. You guys are gonna. There's four of us there. That's good. Are you guys going to uh, possibly consider uh, practicing sometime before the near future? <coughs> Ask our band director. Ask our yeah. band director. Band director. Come on up here, band director. Let's, let's meet the yeah. band director. Yeah. <laughs> For people who don't know him and people who do know him that probably wish they didn't know him, uh, John Stromberger right here. Right, John? Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, John? I was already on here once. It's okay, John. Tell us about yourself. I was born in St. Francis Hospital. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. That's five. <laughs> yeah, that's five mistakes. Come on. Tell, tell, us a, tell us a little bit about yourself more than, than you were born at St. Francis. Uh, what kind of sports are you in? Golf. Golf. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what other kind of strenuous activities do you enjoy? Keep stats for the basketball games. Mm. <laughs> and, and I do this. Okay, are you presently employed by anybody? No. That's great. And uh, do, you, do you know how to play any instruments or anything? Drums. You know how to play them, or you just play them? <laughs> no, 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 it, but it does occur to me that, that uh, several times while listening to the band, uh, lots of instruments were playing different notes at different you mean times. Today? The, no, no, not today, of course, because we have a wonderful drummer with us tonight. Uh, a person who, before the show, said he was honored to work with me. And that's the kind of people that we need in this club. So, uh, yeah. What a brown nose. Brown nose, yeah. You, you kids are all alike. I'll tell you. So uh, anyhow, John, it's it's going to be a pleasure working with you this year, and uh, I'm, I'm sure we're all looking forward to uh, hearing some uh, some great uh, band performances. What's your plan? When? What are you guys planning for? Really? When's the next practice? Next week. <laughs> next week? Is, is this true? You're just saying this. To we do have a song, kind of. We do? Kind song? of. Either do or you See, don't. It's, not, it's a song that everybody knows, but we can play it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's something to brag about, isn't it? Can we, can we hear that? What, what song is this? Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> can you, can you guys want to play this? Okay. okay. Let's go for it. Here we go. Backwards. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> What a talented, talented bunch of kids we have uh, here with us tonight. I'm, I'm so excited, as you can tell. Uh, boy, <laughs> something to brag about. Is that a mistake right there? Yeah. Great. Well, let's move on to the rest of the show before can everybody starts flicking the channels for a second. Hey, don't rage. Don't the rage. Page. The bottom page? <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, here you go. Have this, please. We got a great, uh, great next two guests here. They're uh, from Channel Five. Yeah. No one uh, affectionately. Right. Quiet, quiet, quiet. No one affectionately as the uh, Aggie Channel, and uh, we would really like to bring them on tonight to tell us a little bit about their show, the uh, Just for You. It's a news show. So let's bring them on to talk about it. Mary Brennan and Mark yeah. as well. Yeah. Huh? What's that bottom of the Thanks, guys. <laughs> Nice traveling music. Nice couch. <laughs> Thank you. And, and how are things going down at Channel 5 right about now? Well, um, a little bit strange, as usual. That's about right. You guys get any new equipment in? Any major developments down there? No. The television center? Not really. Oh, you guys got some racks from, uh, what, UA? UA? Yeah. Nothing new. 
nothing really fix happens. everything up in a neat way. You guys uh, considering on making any uh, purchases you can let us know about to improve the uh, quality of the station? Well, you should talk to Mr. Woodward about that. <laughs> uh, we can't say anything about this then, huh? Is this some kind of top secret military project or something? Mm, well. <laughs> I heard something maybe about a mixer. I don't know. I don't know What's either. this? <laughs> nah, nobody knows about it. Okay, well, forget that. Uh, what type of show are you guys uh, trying to put on down there? It's just for you. It's a community news show. It's for East Peoria, Washington, Grieve Corner, and Sunny Island. It'll be like entertainment tonight. She kind of lost her voice last night. Entertainment tonight? Yeah. Yeah, now who, uh, wh who works on this kind of show? It's her, myself, Mary, uh, Candy Holcomb, who's a reporter, uh, Lori Childs, and good old Mr. Egemeyer. Dean You're a friend Collins. of mine? And Dean Collins. Yeah, you might know him. <laughs> okay, what, what positions do you guys uh, have on the show then? Well, Mary's a hostess, co hostess. <laughs> Don't they make Post. some kind of snack foods? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm a co-host and co-producer. Well, so I'm not a hostess. <laughs> and uh, Dean's also a co-producer. And Candy and Lori are uh, reporters. And Dennis is an uh, executive producer. Great. Right, sounds like a, a lot of fun. When do you guys, when do, you guys do this show, then? Well, we're going to start taping next Monday. And we've been working on it since um, before Christmas vacation started. You guys got any r reports done then? <laughs> well, more. about most of them. we got a couple more left to do. How long is the show going to air? It's about a 30-minute show. 30 minutes. It was going to be uh, each week, but we decided to make it bi-weekly. So how do you work this now? Do you uh, do a studio part of it and then break out for, right. for uh, interviews? Then? It's going to be kind of like how you do your show live on tape. I mean, uh, keep just keep on going at the same time. Yeah, and uh, gosh knows we sometimes uh, have the urge to want to stop the camera, but uh, <laughs> we can. Occasionally, there's a lull spot in this show, but uh, but not not usually. Uh, occasionally. occasionally, yeah. Most of the show's a lull. Uh, <laughs> who who started the show? Who had the idea for this? Dean did. Dean did. Because this is uh, it's something that's new. It's as you guys haven't had anything on uh, Channel Five like that before, have you? Not that I know of. Maybe way in the past, maybe, I don't know. I haven't been around that long. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the thing that makes us different from uh, most shows is you have students working on it. You don't well, have, most uh, of our shows we have students working do you? on it. Okay, you, don't, you don't have, uh, you got like Mr. Egemeyer, which foresees the entire event. Yeah, and they're, all the students are on camera and audio mixers and do all the technical stuff. <laughs> Much like this show, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many shows can we expect this year from uh, Right now we're on a trial period of six editions. Six editions? Yeah. And, uh, and whatever the board decide, East Peoria Cable Television Corporation Board of Directors decide, then that decides what the show, how long if the show's going to go on or not. So how many, how many people do you have tied up in this? Because, I mean, it seems like uh, you said bi-weekly. Bi um, how many people? That's what I said, about yeah. seven. About seven. <laughs> we have a lot of people then, you know. Yeah. Work and they're gonna have to work a lot of time to get those uh, interviews done, stuff like that. Yeah, we've been working. What kind of interviews do you guys of have? Time. All the time. Yeah, what kind of interviews do you guys have planned? All the time. Oh, little reports and things for the uh, first first show. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You guys will be down there working at Channel Five when the show gets uh, put on the air tonight. So. Yeah. Your finger could accidentally slip across the tape three, four hundred times <laughs> and erase it, I'm sure. Or, or happen to take the bulk eraser and run it across the tape. Yeah, every once in a while you accidentally set those by power supplies. And, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> zapped. Uh, <laughs> the question, the question from the audience here is, uh, is this show going to be as entertaining as Kirk's Country Kitchen? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> a lot of people do. Now, uh, you know, you guys... Since I did let you be on the show, I, I think it's only fair that uh, yes, there it comes. that I that I come down and, and possibly do a couple of uh, remote segments for the we show. We already have it planned in the oh, future. Yeah, that's right. This will be an interview, uh, interesting one, right? I mean, I won't have to. Depends. Well, if we don't. The like study it. of pet rocks, or. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what kind of mood we're in. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Now, what other shows have you guys produced now by yourselves? What by have yourselves? you been involved with? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is actually the first show we really got into and just worked on. Okay, but you guys each work on other shows then? Yeah, we, 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 on, we run camera and switcher, that's about it. How long have you been working down at Channel 5? For over a year now. <laughs> about the same, since I was a freshman. I'm since a you are a freshman. And uh, if you've done, uh, uh, what is it, Raiders uh, Sports? Yeah, okay. Sports. Raiders of the Lost Football Game? Yeah, Raiders of <laughs> the Lost Football Game. Real That's cute. You can tell he's a bad number, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> but it's, uh, no, I, you guys uh, seem to be drawing a lot more people in your club down there. Uh, yeah. No, well, I and mean, you guys, you're starting to get a little more participation. Starting. Right? Yeah. All the freshmen are coming in, and they kind of participate a little bit more than the upperclassmen do. Now, um, I, I don't mean to, to gripe or anything, but uh, a couple of weeks ago I saw this show... I, I guess some of your uh, students produced there, and uh, well, it was horrible. To, to be quite honest, <laughs> uh, it was. Uh, you know, they did a little news segment. They did their version of soap operas. Oh and, yeah, uh, oh, that, that, that was a uh, that was a that was a real winner. That was Mrs. Getman's in uh, media class. She put that together, by the way. So, so we don't have really nothing good. to do with it. <laughs> And uh, did, did those kids then go over any of that stuff before they did it on the air, or was that just kind of a... I think it was a... Spontaneous combustion. Yeah. <laughs> Much like spontaneous combustion, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> laugh, please. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. You guys have any other grand ideas for uh, Channel 5? Yeah, we're going to have an aerobics show. <laughs> a oh, rock video? No, I don't know. Hey, no aerobic yeah, show? That would be well, great. Yeah, no, aerobic show no, might. Depends on what the board cool. thinks. And, um, we're going to have a show like yours. <laughs> Let's put it what? What? Uh, what? 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 No. A show like ours? Not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> but it's like better. It's better. See, I don't know if you can find a... <laughs> I don't know if you can find a bunch of fine kids like us to yeah. do a show at uh, East Peoria, you know. Because I'm sure everybody knows that uh, East Peoria is far, far... Uh, Worse than our school here. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah! I think basically yeah. we're a uh, far more superior school than uh, East Peoria. Yeah, I agree. And we have a better audience. A better audience. Yeah. 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 Much better audience. Better of course, of course we'll be. We'll be oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Are you guys going to be a real band on your show? You're just going to have a bunch of people playing. We don't playing know yet. We might, we might have a real band. Is that a real band? I don't think we're going to play that. Like 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 May I suggest a couple of kazoos? They're going to have ours. Yeah. <laughs> please, have them. Take them with you. They're yours. Take them back with you, please. We also do Jim Tallman impersonations. <laughs> one, one, two, three. Yeah. So, uh, how did this show get started then? Did you guys all get together and... Uh, no, Dean kind of got came down here and goes, I'm going to do this show and kind of drug us all into it. Because I remember there was some talk about, uh, he was talking to John Berkey last year. Uh, trying to get him to do a show. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, the format was, but uh, Dean has a show down there now, doesn't he? He did. He did? What was doesn't the name of that? Uh, adding adding color, color to Your Life. Okay. And uh, how long was that on? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You were you there when they were producing that? No. That no. was a couple of years ago. Do you guys like working on Channel 5? Yeah. Think it's going to help you out in the long run? Yeah, well, yeah, because I'm going to be a reporter. You're going to be a reporter. Hopefully. Kind that anchors the news, yeah. much like Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> what um, you need, though, it's it's better for the males to do it because they can show off their new ties. And everything. That's what Connie says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those people who watch David Letterman, anybody see the uh, the signs they had on there the other night? Somebody was madly that. in love with Connie Chung, uh, <laughs> an anchor on uh, on the news there. <laughs> so they came out with a bunch of new signs that has a little picture of Connie Chung on there and it, little words up above it that say like Connie says stop. <laughs> <laughs> and Connie says the speed limit here is 55. Well, I guess you had to have been there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. Well, uh, w what kind of improvements? <laughs> uh, what kind of improvements do you think that we ought to make on our show? I figure I can ask you guys because you okay, guys don't yeah. want to be half as good as I ours. Do, I, I, I do have a one suggestion. I was going to tell uh, Tim later. You know, I, mean, I didn't get a chance to. Is, uh, I think me and Dennis like to tell him sometimes is when he talks into the mic, don't stick it up his mouth. 
Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> notice that sometimes. And, yeah. uh, no, and, no offense, but no, 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 no. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, when people get on there and they don't talk in English, that's rather disturbing. <laughs> yeah. I never could figure that out, but uh, we, we, we put the awesome. tape on, and when he comes on, our, our sound system goes boing. And, <laughs> it actually Just bounces around. A, a couple questions here about Channel 5 now. Uh, <laughs> can anybody put uh, shows on there? Can you explain that to, to people that are, are dying to, to be on television? I should talk to Dennis about that. You could that. join the club because we have a Channel 5 club. Now, is this just for people that go to the school now, or you can anybody no, can join any, the Channel 5 can, Club? Well, well you know, people can come in and it look weird outside. with 50-year-old people with a bunch of Oh, I'm sure it would be. Now, what kind of fringe benefits do they get from uh, an activity such as this? Any kind of discounts at your food stores and Well, you get free entry to the basketball games. For, free entry to the basketball sure. games. But see, now, that wouldn't work too good if you're, like, from Washington and you joined the Channel 5 Club, because why would you want to see these period basketball games? Well, from Washington, Washington, Washington was playing. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Why don't you join the Washington TV club? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, uh, John. So, let's have Dennis come on and explain this to you once. We'll have to have Dennis back on there. Yeah, I remember. Uh, we had some uh, fun last. Yeah, Do we still have the Iggy novel back here? <laughs> oh. It's in the box. It's in the box. Okay. It was a great book. You guys should have read that sometime. But uh, any any other things you want to tell us about Channel Five? Late breaking news? Not really. <laughs> not really, huh? You're gonna There's make us much. watch this movie, this this news presentation. Yeah, at least the first show. Yeah, what time is this gonna be on now? Uh, when and what time? First edition will be on at uh, six thirty on January the twentieth. No, thirtieth. Now is this 30th. a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? Thursday. 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 So that's actually right right before a show then almost. Six thirty, about an hour and a half. Okay, so I'm sure people uh, will just be setting up their TV trays. Uh, Getting ready for our show to be popping into popcorn. They might be able to catch a couple glances of your show. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, I I plan on recording your show every night, of course, before I record mine, and I'll watch it and, and tell you all the bad stuff about it. <laughs> and once, of course, uh, you guys let me come on the show several times, and then I'll be, of course, really happy, and I'll plug your show every night on on our show. Well, we'll think about it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really. Since you guys are here, and since I can <laughs> smear your face in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. What is it? Yeah. Thing. Uh, <laughs> so, what's the best show on Channel Five from the latest poll? Latest poll. The oh, news. The news. <laughs> it's, it's not even. It's not even. It. Well, I mean, everybody calls in, and goes, "Where's the weather? Get that junk off." <laughs> And, uh, and sometimes it happens to be your show too. Yeah, I was actually that, I did that once. I asked him to change it off so I could see the weather for a second. But um, no, I understand. Last time uh, we checked with you guys, uh, WCHS today was the uh, most watched show. What's well, about the only five. show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out of time this week. We'll be <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you what. As soon as you guys uh, make your little. Uh, Mock of our show. We're gonna make a mock of your uh, new show. Well, that, just that just, be just wait until our show comes on there, and we'll see how the ratings change. Now, do you guys have any special uh, special interviews to attract some viewers, or any opening interviews, stuff like that? Yeah, we um, did this thing on um, the abortion thing you know, yesterday. Yeah, you talked something about. What'd you do? Mm -hmm. We did we, reports on it. We, we went to the March of Life. I think that's what it was. She you went there. Yeah, we were we were marching. Well, actually, I wasn't on the marching. I was just following with the camera. <laughs> sounds exciting. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> you guys also talked about MIAs, which sounds extremely yeah. interesting. And when when will this be on? The interview, you guys, are the the M MIAs will be on on January third. Yeah, the first show. First show. That, these are all for the first. Okay, show. now you guys can do all the stuff in segments now. Yeah. Or you're gonna have uh, like you know a story on one week, story on the next week. Well, it'll be uh, like uh, MIAs will be on the sideline segment. Okay. And I'll come on, and then the next segment will come on, and they'll be... You're going to have it broken up in, like, yeah. three, four parts. Yeah, we got names like for them. Different names for all the segments. How many segments are you going to have on each show? Mm, six, seven, seven somewhere around there. Sounds pretty gnarly to me. So, everybody, tune in for that wonderful show. Once again, January... 30th. 30th. <laughs> Good day to work. from today. Uh, 6.30. That's uh, about an hour and a half before our show. So those of you uh, setting up, getting ready to get the VCR going for our show... Go ahead and tune in for their show for a couple minutes at least. Uh, and then, of course, uh, turn it off and come up and watch our show. Uh, what's on 7 o'clock on Thursday nights? 
Magnum. Magnum PI. Good job. Look at look at look at all that competition you got, and all we got is entertainment tonight. Yeah, all you guys have is entertainment tonight. And some stupid little news show here and there, and we we got our great news show coming on. Great, great. Huh? Well, we'll see about this, folks. I don't know. Uh, we're running parallel to what now? We got. Uh, Cheers, is that on 8 o'clock? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but who watches Simon. Cheers? Mm -hmm. I do. That's a good I show. Do. Not everybody at once. <laughs> <laughs> you watch WCHS today. You're good kids. Let's bring on Cheers. Jim Tallman for just a second. He has a message to tell everybody, I'm sure. Fake it, Jim, mm -hmm. if you don't. Make Thank up one real quick. Just scoot out the end, Jim. Wow. <laughs> Great, there goes the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows this, but we never move on that couch. John Norlin, John Norlin uh, sat down on that couch a while ago, and if I remember correctly, uh, it, it, it collapsed. Yeah. I remember the arm of the chair bending off to the sides. Uh, but, uh, okay. What? Anyway, um, uh, you talk about canned food drive. Canned food drive, yeah, that's right. Uh, great, great turnout this year for the canned food yes, drive. They served 50 families this year, and I heard the seniors won it all. Yeah, yeah pretty good this year. But uh, I, I think everybody should commend uh, Key Club and everybody else that helped deliver the cans, uh, Student Council, on their fine effort on feeding the needy people of Washington. And uh, we're going to do the same thing next year, so let's everybody donate cans and uh, all this good stuff. My <laughs> gosh. And uh, so everybody help out next year, and uh, let's try to feed. How many do we feed this year? 180. 180. Let's go for 250 next year. That sounds good, huh? Let's conquer the world. Let's go for it. Yes. Are you staying in America, folks? 80. Let's go ahead. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Well, Ben, get ready, because I'm getting ready to come over for you in just a second here. Uh, let's have a nice weekend. And remember, just remember that this show... It's the best. Uh, that's Humpty awesome. Dumpty was pushed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, remember, it was a conspiracy against Humpty Dumpty. Anyway, everybody have a nice weekend. Uh, don't stay out too late on Friday and Friday night because you got to wake up nice and early Saturday morning uh, to, to watch the Smurfs. <laughs> Boy, we're dying here, folks. No problem. I tell you what, have a nice weekend. Uh, we'll see you back Thursday night. Same egg time, same egg channel, channel 5, your place for entertainment. Take it away, band.